So Big Run just happened after multiple months of waiting for it. Salmon Run players actively monitoring the arrival of this event for days. And how is it exactly? Well, I'll have you know that it's very disappointing. Like surprisingly disappointing. Now hold on, hold on. I know that I'm starting this off on a really sour note, but hear me out. Big Run as a concept is great. The execution of it has some flaws, but I ultimately feel that it's really fun regardless. Trust me, I played all the way up to Max Hazard. The game turns into hell, but it's a fun type of hell. I am coping. Anyways, the main point about this video is to express how Big Run fell flat in terms of its rewards and why it really should have been more than what it is currently. First off, to get this out of the way, the only rewards that you'll receive throughout a Big Run is 2400 points of capsules, assuming that you stop at that point, 1.2 times more catalog experience for shifts, a splash tag badge, and a statue of Big Mean Tubby over there. That's it. That's all you get. Fitting that the rewards are so shallow since this form of compensation is from a corporate entity that jeopardizes the lives of its employers due to the desires of the executives and its CEO. Capitalism. So you may be asking, well, Mr. Cats and Kids, what could have been done to make Big Run seem worth it? Ungrateful prick. Well, there's surprisingly little that could be done to make Big Run, you know, big. First off is simply making this another time to collect conch shells. I know that an idea like this simply ruins the appeal of Splatfest, but since big runs are going to seemingly be scarce, I feel like it's fine. So get over it. Next one is going to be a big shocker. I know. Double the amount of chunks scrubbed from gear. I know that you can have as many gear chunks that you want if you religiously grind the life out of Salmon, but grinding is something that requires dedication and time to one thing. And since replacing the main ability of clothings with either 15 chunks of three abilities or 45 for one primary, I feel like making this limited time event give double the amount of chunks normally is a pretty good incentive in participating as much as possible. This next talking point isn't really an issue with Big Run, more so Salmon Run itself, but for the love of COD, boost the quantity of scales that you get from extra waves, preferably double or triple the amount that you'd normally get in present day. It makes no sense that after consecutively working multiple shifts, an event boss spawns and it gives you 11 turdlets that you can spend on a splash tag or collectible figure of a chum. It doesn't even have to be in vanilla salmon. It could just be something exclusive to Big Run. Something to incentivize you to play it more. I know that there's a dedicated Salmon Run player base within Splatoon, but it really couldn't hurt to have the rewards and drops from Koho to be at least somewhat forgiving especially during this period. Now, those three things are all the primary changes that I make to Big Run. It's really fun to play on regular multiplayer stages in the scenarios of working a Salmon Run shift, but I'd appreciate it if there was an actual incentive in playing Big Run all the way until it's done. With that being said, that's all I have to say. Let me know what you think about Big Run. Was it good? Was it bad? Did I hit the nail on my talking points or did I brutally smash my thumb with the hammer? Thanks for watching, and I'll see you around.